Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your invitation. The rule of law, fundamental rights and democracy are fundamental values that bind the European Union. History has shown that democracy can be vulnerable. Recently, the Russian aggression against Ukraine can be seen as a war against democracy itself. We need to constantly protect and promote democracy in the European Union, especially in the run-up or to the European elections. In June next year, Europeans will indeed take to the pools, participating in one of the largest democratic exercises in the world. Promoting discussion on EU topics and ensuring that citizens have access to information on the European Union is essential to support their participation. The Commission is supporting the Member States to prepare for free, fair and resilient elections and to protect the electoral process against threats such as cyber attacks. We are actively working with national authorities through the Open Cooperation Network on elections. The Joint Resilience Mechanism enables exchanges between Member States experts on issues such as disinformation and cybersecurity. We will have a dedicated event in October to prepare for the EU elections with national experts who will have the opportunity to share best practices and information. In addition, the Commission's legislative proposal on political advertising aims to provide common standards on transparency of political ads and to limit opaque targeting techniques. We are also preparing a Defense of Democracy package. It would provide for common transparency standards to protect democracies from covert foreign interference. It will encourage inclusive civic engagement and citizens' participation to boost democratic resilience and trust. And it would also include recommendations to prepare for the European Parliament elections. The Commission's Citizens' Equality, Rights and Value Programme also supports projects that sustain democratic societies based on the rule of law. So you can see that you can count on the commitment of the European Commission to democracy and the rule of law. And I can assure you that this commitment will remain very strong. I thank you for your attention and I wish you interesting discussions.